time I've been here all week. Looks like we ain't going home without a little bit of scrap. Jeez. Right, look at that. One of them little legs. I'm going to grab him from above. Who knows, he might make us another cane. Ain't that one of them beer Bradley things? Mm, that's pretty dirty, but I'll take it home. So I can clean it. It's probably one of them knockoffs. I took most of the stuff out of this truck, <laughs> out of the box truck here. I kept picking stuff up that looked really cool and thought I needed to keep it. I'm gonna back up a little bit so you can see what's over here in this stupid storage unit. And this probably still won't look like it to you, but dude, you don't even know. See, I see it on the camera and it doesn't look like much. But tile as far back as you can see grout back there there's all this wood there's linoleum more wood more wood oh look at that there. there's more wood and more tile put things in perspective I'm standing in the storage unit there's the door I'm 6'3 that's how tall these stupid racks of tile are jeez I've smoked I've smoked and I literally Cleared out a bunch of stuff and you can't even tell. Like I was digging and pulling and digging and pulling. At some point I'll have to organize and pull all this out. Also found out that somewhere up there I'm leaking again. I gotta get a uh, roof tar or whatever. One of you cats suggested it like three or four times and I'm still not listening to you. I know I need to do it, but actually there's a hardware store right here. I might go in here and see if I can't get some roof tar. Cause uh, yeah, I don't want this thing leaking. Well, next morning, and just like that, got, a, got some hundos, got some hundos, can't beat it, all the flooring, well, it's not gone yet, I, uh, woman drove two and a half hours down here to meet me, and, uh, what was it, she can't get it all today, she's gonna drive back Monday, today's Saturday, she's gonna drive back Monday, with her trailer and they're gonna try to load it all now she said whatever they can't get they're gonna leave <laughs> which is cool I guess I'm not really interested in dealing with it anymore but I changed I told her to change her lock and she did so Eunice got her lock on it she feels safe so we'll see what they leave what they don't leave whatever they don't leave I might just take to my thrift man and give it to them I'm uh I'll deal with flooring still but as of right now I just want to be done with it getting close to Christmas and all that trying to wind down from the hot for the holidays so I'll let somebody else deal with it there was a piece of metal right here the other day yeah look at that little little end table check this out I just drove down this side road. Uh, cool thing about that is it looks pretty good. I might could take some of that tile and just make a little uh, frame. I might take my welder and cut the top of that thing off and flip it over and put some tile in the top of it. And then you got a little side stand outside, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I'm gonna ride the street, see if I can't find a little yard sale. Not see anything right off, ooh, right off hand. But, uh, yeah, 
That's the game plan. See the funny art sale. I got some things to do today. May or may not be in some trash neighborhoods. Uh, probably do some thrifting today too though. I think the wife and I are gonna go out for the whole 10 year wedding anniversary thing and have a date. One of them date things. I don't know what them are. What are you supposed to do? But I think that's what we're talking about doing. So anyway, I'll see you guys later. There's a lot over here by the thrift store and look what I see. I'm about to whoop my man. Can't be throwing these beauties away. That's parts, my man. Even though I'm about to throw it here in the back of the truck. Got a little bit. I feel like I can't trust him. And I gotta go in here and look every day now. Some sandy cloths. All right. Let's see what we got back here. Look at this. Metal retro gamer would kick my ass if I left him. Look at that the whole box right there. Oh yeah, he beat the hell out of me. exercise equipment here earlier I didn't have time to record but some treadmill thing a bike since I'm pretty good friends with them inside they told me to take them TV movies. I think he was actually talking that he wanted to get into those. Oh, Jesus Christ. Touch, you know I love you, but I can't see, but I can't hold that stupid light in my mouth. Might be all I'm gonna get you, buddy. 
All right, so I know VHS is totally not our thing, but a quick little look. A lot of these are actual movies. Some are taped from TV stuff. These two I thought were pretty cool. This uh, Viva Las Vegas or whatever, it's actually sealed, so you can't beat that. Uh, these are too thick, so there's one movie and one under it. That one's the same way. This one back here, it's just all kind of stuff. And those are from my man, the Metal Retro Gamer. Go check him out. You'll probably see a card somewhere up there. Check this out. I bought this today, and I'll show you guys later. I gotta go to bed here in a minute, so you know what it is, what it is. But check this out. Vintage, vintage wrestling figures. I got more of these things. Look at this. Automographed. Say what? What else? What else? What? Oh, 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 oh. Bushwhackers. Bushwhackers. Dude, there's some killer stuff in here. That, even that right there, uh, I found some on eBay. Just, I mean, not even autographed, so we'll say autographed, sealed. No trouble. 30, 40 plus. So, I paid 80 bucks for all these. The beardless one is pissed off. I shouldn't have done it. But you know me, I do is what I do. I'll show you all that crap, probably tomorrow, I don't know. Also got a live stream with the scrapping dude tomorrow, so I may or may not have time. Either way, at some point in this video, you'll see it. Also bought these, I carry one. He wanted seven bucks a piece, but I got five a piece on them. So I spent 95 bucks, but these knives right here, I don't know, something about them, I just love them. Anyway, see you guys in the morning. All right, Trashers, this is gonna end the week. Um, kind of a short week I think I told you the other day my work schedule was crazy this past week now I got into a few things hit a dumpster once or twice but I only did what I really could now on my way home tonight from work I hit uh, the new uh, family dollar if you will and they had a dumpster out back and I was really just looking for metal but I found something I got a box right here and there's like one two three four about ten about ten of these tubes right here extra bond oh no hang on anyway about 10 of these they're about 12 bucks a piece but it's a uh, rtv silicone Ooh, this is rtv whoa now rtv's good stuff but uh it's a sealant found 10 of these which is freaking sick there was a bunch of them in there they were empty but then some reason i hit this box they fell out sealed never open RTV is the stuff that men use to seal everything. So, that's a good find. I love it. I'm freaking cold right now. Also got my, uh, I'm excited. Got my setup right here. I'll show you. It's a mess, don't worry. But, uh, nope, there goes my phone. Probably cracked it. Anyway, uh, got my setup right here. About to go live with Scrappin' Dude. This will be well after the fact, so you guys will have to... Go back and check it out if you've probably already seen it, if you watch me anyway. But, uh, check it out. Uh, all these wrestlers I bought, I talked to you about them yesterday, or uh, in the previous clip, or dog bark. Uh, we're gonna do a separate video on these, because I just looked one of them up a minute ago, and it was $150, sold two days ago. And, uh, that's looking sick. And, like, some of them, what's this? This is from 1998. It's autograph. Apparently these Hasbro, is this Hasbro? I think it is. Anyway, apparently these Hasbro toys, yeah it's Hasbro, these flipping things are on the money. Now, and that's just ones that are open. These sealed ones, man, these sealed ones are uh, some serious change. Let's see if I got another cool one to show you. There's that Bushwhacker autographed. Um, like I said, we're gonna do a separate video dual pack with Booker T and uh, whoever this other cat is. I never knew the Harlem Heat. I'm a little bit too young for that. I am and I ain't. I wasn't a WCW guy. I was a WWF guy, so Stone Cold, Kane, The Rock, all the boys, Degeneration X, you can suck it. Uh, you know, typical, typical, typical. God, old Diesel. Look at that. Get out of here, man. This is... This is, just, this is gold is what this is. Anyway, we're going to do a separate video on that because I'm kind of going to do a price analysis, if you will, because I really just want to go through and see what I've got and what it's worth. 
I was gonna resell some of this, but now I don't think I can. <laughs> Especially considering the fact that I have, I've already sold one. But other than that, I have the rest. One, two, three, four, five. The rest of the set that went with all these, cause I bought this from my neighbor. Paid 80 bucks for them. And the one, God, I can't find them in there. The one's worth 150 bucks. I even saw this cat, but she was a different pair of pants. But same exact figure was a hundred dollars. And it wasn't even sealed. Stupid house. Stupid old plumbing. Anyway, that's what we got going on. This has gone on too long. Gotta get on here and start uh start this live stream. So uh hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, subscribe, or don't. Keep your eyes open because we're gonna do a special video for this here in a, a few days. 